What is up, guys? Welcome back to me and my mother's channel, ATL Fat Divas, where fat stands for food, adventure, and travel. So today I'm bringing you a mini vlog where um, I had went to Pigeon Forge. Um, my mother didn't come on this trip with me this time, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that you can get into while you are at Pigeon Forge, and it's very affordable. Before you get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Press that notification bell so you won't miss out on upcoming videos that we post. So let's get into the video. So all right, guys, I have just arrived at Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and already you can see the attractions. They have a whole bunch of different things that you can do here. They have Wonder Works. They have Beyond the Lens. They have the titanic museum and then the first attraction that me and my husband are going to do we are going to do the um wax the hollywood wax museum and the castle of chaos which is three other attractions uh which is the castle of chaos which is a 70 ride uh, also a um a haunted house uh walk through it's called the outbreak and also hannah maze of mirrors where you try to find your way out of the maze of mirrors All you gotta do is going to the Hollywood Wax Museum because it makes you feel like you're in a whole different world with the wax figures and as well as how they basically set up the wax figures and certain celebrities that they make into wax figures. It's just amazing. So after we were done with the Hollywood Wax Museum, we headed over to the castle to do the other three attractions. If you are doing the Hollywood Wax Museum, it is best to get the all-access pass and do the other three attractions. You will save a lot more money. filming here but this is the outbreak which is the honey house and you walk through it i done did this like three times it gets me every time but it's a lot of fun
Amazon with the attractions. We headed to this huge general gift shop store. They had a little bit of everything. And guys, if you are looking for the lounge fly bags, this is the place to go to in Pigeon Forge. When I say they had a variety range of lounge fly bags, it was ridiculous. And the wallets to match. And they were a reasonable price too. So I had to hurry up and get out that section because I was ready to buy mostly all of those bags. basically like it's an area where you can eat you can do more attractions you can get on a ferris wheel it's free admission free parking and me and my husband got on a ferris wheel and then we grabbed a bite to eat and it was so much fun guys i have not been on the ferris wheel in ages when i say i think the last time i've been on a ferris wheel was since i was a little kid and it was so much fun they even had a water light show and you'll see it in a minute this food at the island of pigeon four was on point it was on point i'm gonna make sure i list this restaurant in the description box below after we finished eating i went to go try some hard ciders and you can try 12 hard ciders for five dollars the flavor i chose to get was watermelon and guys it was so good so, all right, guys, that will conclude the end of this video. I know it was a short video, but I just wanted to show you some of the things that I have done. I have been to Pigeon Forge. I think this will be my third or fourth time going. So, this is not my first time going, but I will be going back again, and I will be vlogging that, and I will be doing a lot more stuff, and I will be vlogging that and show you guys what else that you could do at Pigeon Forge. Um, hopefully my mother will probably come on the next trip. I don't know. Hope you enjoyed the video and just remember there's plenty of things to do. Even though I didn't show a lot, there are a lot of things to check out. You have Gatlinburg. There's a lot of things to do as well as Pigeon Forge where I went. Um, so there's a lot of attractions. There's museums. Uh, there's aquarium. They have like, um, a lot of, uh, golfing places. If you lo love mini golf, um, they have sightseeing uh they have wine tasting they have uh hard cider tasting they have huge flea markets um they just have a whole bunch of stuff that you can get into while you're there and won't break the bank uh so this is like a i would call it like a cheaper version than going to uh disney world or universal studios I always enjoy going to Pigeon Forge and going um just going to get away get away from um 
you know, everyday life and just seeing some new scenery, seeing the mountains, seeing Mother Nature. So I love Pigeon Forest, guys. If you're trying to figure out some ways to take a trip or an affordable trip and you, you don't have the coins to, let's say, go to the country or you want to be kind of like low key and chill, go to Pigeon Forest. You'll have a lot of fun in Gatlinburg. So that will conclude the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Press the notification bell so you won't miss out on upcoming videos that me and my mother post. And I'll see you guys on our next video.